The date of this filming is Saturday, January 7th, 2023. You guys know what to do. Grab yourself a tasty treat and a beverage of choice and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this vlog at all times. Welcome to Florida is Forever Home. My husband Mark and I are Maine natives that first moved to Florida in 2012. We first moved to the Orlando area like many do to pursue the magic to live around and work at Walt Disney World as well as the other people. As with many, as time goes on you start to experience so much more of real Florida. After a couple years of working for Walt Disney World, uh, Mark decided to start working for the National Park Service, which took us all around the country. We'd come back to Florida on the off season, and then eventually it has landed us here at our current home base, Everglades National Park. So whether you just love to travel here to Florida, or whether you are considering making Florida your home, or whether Florida is already your home, Follow us to see what there is to do all around this beautiful state they call the Sunshine State. What's next? So we are at the day use area here at Flamingo. We live literally like a mile and a half down the road. Um, if you're new to this channel, my husband, Teddy's dad, Mark, works here in Everglades in Utilities. Pelican just flew by. That would make Mark very happy. Just walk over and walk around. So when we first moved to Flamingo a couple months ago, this was all really mucky. Hurricanes had just gone through. Wasn't really good for play. And then for the longest time, I couldn't talk Teddy into going down. And then today, thankfully, he said, yes, I'm so excited to come play here. Now it's a little windy, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film for you guys, but we're going to try to get a little bit of a capture of our first play section session here in Flamingo in 2020. Yeah, I'm going to help you over. Just step on the, step on the reeds. You're fine. Yeah, walk right over it. There you go. Just take steps. Yeah. Want me to hold your hand? Florida boy here has decided barefoot is the way to go. I don't blame him. Yep, small steps. It is a little bit wet, so it's a little bit slick. So our tide is out currently, which does open this up nice. When the tide's more towards high tide here, you don't have as much space to play. So we were pretty excited when we pulled out of housing and uh, saw that the tide was down. Well, you can keep walking. You can walk closer to the shore and find rocks to throw if you want to. Yeah, walk down closer to the water. See what we can find for rocks. Teddy's trying to show his muddy toes off. Just think of it like a facial, honey, huh? Yes. Good for your skin, huh? <laughs> We're walking along. Teddy's still barefoot. and I'm slipping and sliding. As you can see, other people have got stuck in the muck. Still not completely dried out much. <laughs> He's just happy to at least throw a couple, huh, Teddy? Yeah? You're not stuck in the muck. You're doing good. You're smart. Go barefoot. I should have took my shoes and socks off. Checking out all the shells in that rock and like baby baby tiniest of baby little crabs i don't know if you're picking any of that up sun's kind of glaring on my screen so you're good you're good just take small steps pick up a rock and chuck it <laughs> so behind me you can see there's people fishing enjoying this beautiful saturday also going to show you a little bit of the amphitheater back there where they have actually Sunday services in season. So, pretty cool. Wow. This one, that's a good rock. It is a good rock? Okay. Yeah, you're doing good. It's 
good muscle building skills, huh? Oh, yeah, what did you find there? <laughs> Do you want to walk up a little further? Turn around the other way, I think, is better. There you go. Yeah, just take your time. You're doing great. Now we have found tracks we're looking at. Avian, I'm assuming bird. I don't know what one it would be. I don't know bird tracks very well, but pretty cool to look at. Teddy's trying to follow the bird tracks. <laughs> you want to go up and rinse your feet off? So we decided to go rinse feet off, dry them off, get Crocs back on, and he decided he wanted to take a little hike with me, which is exciting. I've never actually walked along the Guy Bradley Trail. I believe it goes from here up to the visitor center here in Flamingo. So again, kind of breezy, but we'll see what we can film for you guys. Here's a different Lou. Look at the amphitheater. Teddy's headed out. He sees benches to play on. You want to do that when we come back? Take trail first and then come play when we come back? Okay. Otherwise, if you're familiar with the life of a toddler, we won't actually walk the trail. We'll be on those seats forever. But, oh, what a gorgeous day it is here today. It's in like the 70s. Humidity's really low. That breeze that comes once in a while makes it oh, just so perfect for exploring. Uh, so excited to finally see this trail. You fell off the trail. So excited to finally see this trail. Like two previous seasons here before we returned and Mark became permanent and just never got around to doing this trail. Usually when we would come up from Pine Island District, uh, Teddy would want just the beach or the marina for a snack and then he'd be done. And we'd head back to Pine Island, so really cool part about living here now is getting to explore additional areas. Oh, we didn't bring your piggy bank, honey, so I don't think cookies today. I am also so excited to get him out of the house on this beautiful day. Wait, Teddy. Yeah? Go ahead, go. No, I'm going to go here. The hard part about life down here in Flamingo is sometimes it is very mosquito-y, sometimes very hot and humid. So our, uh, what I call our golden season, the time when you can be out almost any time, day or night, is very limited. Usually like January, February. Um, even with insect repellent, sometimes here in Flamingo it can get unruly. It's so funny trying to take still shots of him. Half the time he doesn't look at me or he looks at me for a split second. <laughs> he has such a beautiful smile. I wish I could capture it more. Your help. Okay, I'll take a picture of you running. There we go. You are a runner. Boy, guys, this trail is beautiful. We make It would make a nice little bike trail, too, if you were camping down here in Flamingo with your family. Had your bikes with you. Nice, easy little bike ride. Oh, you fell down? Yeah? Continue. Continue. Keep running. Uh, yes, honey, I'm taking lots of pictures of you running. Wow, I didn't realize how shady this trail was either. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I should come do this like early morning. Try to see some birds and stuff. <gasps> Toddlers are funny creatures. I had to beg and beg and beg to get him to want to leave the house. Now that he's out here, he, it's like it's his idea. <laughs> That's the key. There's your mom pro tip right there. Make them think it's their idea. Little side path here out to look at the water. Well, it'd be a great place to see some sunsets. 
we have pretty good sunrises and sunsets here sometimes. No, not exactly, honey. It's not exactly where we started, but it does look like the beach you were just on, doesn't it? Try again. Try again. I think you took your hat off. There you go. Pretty good job getting it on. Good job. I take it off. Do have nice little walk along the water here. Good job getting it on, sweetie. <laughs> He's being silly now. Yeah, you can wear it backwards if you'd like to. You are. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. Highly, highly recommend this path if you're in the Flamingo area. Really beautiful views. Huh, they beautiful? Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, I'll give you a head start. Stop. Stop? Okay. Then I win. You won? Congratulations. Yeah, I'm certainly going to bring you guys here again, I think, by myself. With like a sunset stroll. You won. Or maybe a sunrise stroll. We get a really good one some morning. I'm the present. Oh, you're the present? Well, thank you. You're quite the gift. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. So sorry for the blurry shot. Teddy's trying to pull me down the trail, but I wanted to get a capture of like the fruiting. The tree is fruiting. That's really cool. I also was letting another group pass by to be polite. Teddy sometimes doesn't understand that concept of why we would let people politely pass. All right, Teddy, watch out. Biker coming. Really stunning views of the water. Cannot say enough of that. Ah, oh, taking your picture. Oh, yay! He bent the finish line for the, like, sixth time. Good job. Hey, we're almost out behind the new hotels they're building. Keep going. Yeah. You're going to race with me? All right, three, two, one. They've been working on building these new little hotel thing, this hotel thing for like, oh, ever since Mark's first season a couple years ago, well, three years ago now. Oh, I think they might be opening by June. I'm hoping. Cannot wait to do a stay for you guys when they do eventually open. I will be doing a stay to review it. We held up to let somebody else pass and I look up, beautiful, beautiful shot of an osprey up there. We have a lot a lot of osprey. We have like several nests even right in our housing neighborhood. A lot of osprey. And then there's some vultures kind of flying around in the background. Beautiful shot of that osprey. Oh, this is a much better shot. I stepped underneath a little bit more down the path. I'm zoomed in really far, by the way. I'm not encroaching on his space, but with the tree hiding the sun, get a little bit better view. Hold on, I'll run with you. I just wanted to get a good capture of this osprey. He's beautiful. <gasps> you won. You won again. Okay, three, two, one, go. Teddy has no desire to stop and look at osprey or plants. <laughs> he just wants to run. Oh, to have the energy of a four and a half year old, huh? You did? No, I think that's like the 10th finish line. You want me to count you down again? Three, two, one, go. While he races, I'll show you that the views just continue. <laughs> Toddlers are so funny too. He keeps going, what is it? What am I doing? What is Teddy doing, mom? Am I racing? <laughs> wow, guys. Really? This is much nicer than I had originally thought it was. Okay, is this your starting line? <gasps> I did track in high school and I was mostly a thrower, shot put, discus, javelin, javelin being my best. But once in a while I would do like a, a relay just to uh, have a fourth event. <laughs> and doing this with Teddy right now is giving me nostalgia for relay. I feel like I should have a baton to pass off to him every time he stops. So then as we're getting past the hotels again here, you get back into some shade. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I think that's like the 15th countdown I've given him now, but he's having fun and I'm loving every ounce of it. 
So we've gotten up to the visitor center area. I asked Teddy to, when he gets to the parking area, slow down. We can watch for traffic. But really, easy walk, good for any age range or ability, as you can see, pretty much ADA accessible. Highly recommend, highly recommend if you're here in the Flamingo area. No, it's okay. You can walk. Just stay on the inside of me. I always ask him pretty much when we're on sidewalks to try to stay on the inside of me. So we recently, oh, here comes wind. So before the big gust of wind came, I was going to explain that we've recently had a refurb on our VC here, but I don't believe they've opened it to the public yet. So we did go into the temporary VC just to take a peek. We hadn't been into the temporary one. It was really cool though. We ran into uh, Mark's coworker, Tracy. So we got to say hi to Tracy for a while. And uh, then I asked for a Junior Ranger book because believe it or not, Teddy has not done any Junior Ranger books here in Everglades yet. He's done like Big Cypress. He's done over to Biscayne. He's done... Um, uh, Castillo San Marcos. He's done all kinds of ones in Florida all over. Um, even DeSoto and has not really even looked at one for Everglades yet. So we picked up one for Everglades and we think we're just going to take it home and play with it for today. Maybe do one more seriously on another day when Mark's here to play with us. So if you were parked here, um, whether way over at the marina, which the marina is way over on the far distance there on the other side of the VC, if you were parked there or here in the VC area, I just wanted to show you where you would take the Guy Bradley Trail from here. It would be right off, kind of hidden to this side. Yeah, it's going to take you back. I was just explaining to everybody how to do it. So there's a little glimpse of the parking lot. So you would come down from the right side of the visitor center if you were looking at it, looking at the ocean, come right and come down the walkway. You found it! You found the trailhead, the Guy Bradley Trail. And I really should know why it's called Guy Bradley. And I really need to look up that history a bit more. So for next time, I will. But we are gonna retrace our steps back. He's done really well on this adventure. Really happy we got out for some fresh air and exercise. We decided to kind of work on the bingo card on the front as we walked. Teddy's free space, he chose to select a pelican because we have already seen a pelican. And then obviously he's already seen a mosquito. Yeah. So we have those two selected. So if we get an anhinga, we get bingo. We need to get a turtle. Or yeah, turtle, fish, alligator on there. We can keep looking, huh? Oh, a little update, we did see a heron. I think it was a little small night here and I wasn't sure. I saw it from a distance. We did just see a lizard. So we have officially made bingo. We'll keep playing for the fun of it. We just passed this couple with beautiful shepherds. I mean, beautiful big shepherd dogs. And Teddy's very concerned. I love that my son has so much empathy for all of creation. He's like, how will they get back to their car? And I'm like, honey, I think they'll walk like we are back to our car. But it was just kind of a sweet moment how he was very concerned with how those shepherds, how the puppet dogs were gonna get back to their car. We are almost back out here to the day use area in Flamingo where Sky, our trusty adventure van is parked and the restrooms and stuff. And uh, someone is now ready to use the potty, have peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So we're gonna close this adventure out for today and run home, have lunch, and relax and recharge for the afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Anything you want to say, Teddy? I'm not eating. No. We did. Yeah, you did very good, honey. Peace and love, gang. See you on that next adventure. Hey, what's next? Never know where you're going to see us next. <laughs> Bonus clip. Someone all of a sudden saw the amphitheater and decided he wasn't hungry and tired after all. He remembered that I had said he could play in the amphitheater. <laughs> Funny how someone regains energy so fast. Oh, look at you. You're a cutie.